hello guys it's joan here welcome again to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how i crafted this sculpt corset you're seeing here with this pattern paper now i posted a part one of this tutorial if you've not seen it please check on my channel it is right there on my channel okay so that you can follow with whatever i'm going to be doing here all right guys without wasting much of your time let's get right into the tutorial so guys i'm going to be showing you the fabric i'm going to be using for this tutorial okay now to make this outfit i'm going to be using this beaded lace here it depends on what you want you can actually go for any type of lace now this is the crepe fabric i'm going to be using to line this lace up this is three yards of crepe fabric it also depends on the measurements you you're working with all right so if you're a plus size you want to do about three three and a half yards or four yards i'm also going to be using a cotton lining for it then this is an SD which I am going to be using to, to add to the crepe fabric to give it some stability. Now this SD is of two types. You have the thicker one and the lighter one. Okay, The thicker one is sold for 2000 per yard while the lighter one is sold for 1 2 per yard. Now this is the Regiline bone I'm going to be using. This is of two types. You have the one that is that is less than half inch. And you have the one that is half inch. We're actually going to be using the two because I'm going to be caging the cup parts. Now, this is the rubber boning. This is about 0.4 inch rubber boning. You don't need too much. If you're working with a half inch, then you need to work with a 0.4 inch rubber boning. So, I'm also going to be using this fiber here since I'm going to be caging the ball. So, I'm going to be fleshing the cage parts okay it's a lot you need to really watch this tutorial i have a lot to show you guys all right so you can see this in your in, in any local market or any carpentry shop you can definitely see this this fiber here i think i got this for about one thousand okay so this is how it comes so guys back to the crafted pattern i have here had to craft this off camera because it's too quality time for me to do this I was a bit careful in order not to tear the pattern paper. Okay, so this is what the bag looks like. Now, when you're crafting this, be sure, be rest assured that you're going to spend quality time doing this. You don't want to tear your pattern paper while at it. Now, back to the center front where you have the bust point line, go up by half of an inch. This is completely optional. If you want to maintain that measurement, the bust point measurement, then you should. It, you're not wrong. Okay, so I had to. I come, come up by half of an inch because I thought to cover up a bit of the cleavage. Now for this down part, notice that I joined a pattern paper. So be rest assured that while you're doing this, craft this from the top part. You may have shortages on the down parts. Use your paper tape and a pattern paper to cover up for any shortage you may have on the down part. Okay. So back to this part, I'm simply going to, as you've seen me done, just simply going to connect like this back to this other part i'm creating my cup okay so from that part simply use your your free hand to connect it just this way i am doing here good thing about this crafting method is that as you've seen the way this pattern is laid you can definitely see the boss parts okay you can see the where the the breast will be sitting so with that you can follow the pattern to craft out to trace out the bust part the bust area hope you understand trace out trace out the cup part hope you get what i mean so yeah it is not a hard thing to do just trace to you see where i have the under bust trace to the under bust then back to this you see that you use the breast point line or you go up by half of an inch just the way i'm doing here okay So once you're through with that, I'm going to start creating the neckline now. So from the chest line here, go up by one inch. You can also go up by by 1.025, but it shouldn't be more than that. You know, corset is not meant to be to cover up. You know, cover up like that. So 
is meant to show a bit of your cleavage so yeah do go off from your chest line by one inch or 1.025 it shouldn't be more than that please so yeah because if it's more than that that the shape will be looking funny no you're going to be uh, we are going to be adding yoke to this to this pattern here by the time we are making this showing this you are going to be adding yoke so when you came up by one inch or 1.025 simply connect it back to the side of the cup and back to the center of the cup okay where you came up by half inch connect it to that point as you have you seen me done with this i have created the cup part as you can see here now this cup i'm going to be making a three-piece cup but if you want to have a two-piece cup then leave it like this but for you that wants to have a three-piece cup from the center bust line or breast breast point line come down by one inch okay come down by one inch and from there you're going to simply connect it from all the way to the side of the cup but notice how i'm connecting this I had to use my free hand at this point i had to use my free hand to to do this okay so connect it in, in a curving manner like this back to the side of the cup so if you want to take this measurement on the side of the cup to serve as a guide for you from this top part where he where you connected your neckline come down by like three inches okay come down by like three inches or 3.5 inches okay then from the center part where you came down by one inch connect to that point to this part side part of the cup where you came down by like three inches or 3.5 inches that way you have this curve around the upper part of your cup okay hope you understand what i'm doing here this is for you for those who wants to you know have a three-piece cup like i said if you want to have a two-piece cup then please leave it the way it was you don't need to do what i am doing here so as you can see me here i'm creating like a sign for me to know where the top part is the down part is so yeah create whatever you know do something to your cup that will remind you where you're supposed to be placing them label your cup label the side the upper parts the the center the center cup the side cup label them the way you understand okay for me had to use an arrow to indicate where the center part is where the side cup is and the parts where i'm going to be joining together i hope you understand so yeah that's basically it i've cut out the yoke parts and i'm going i'm not going to be needing that yoke now this is what i have here i am simply going to cut out this cup part because i'm going to be you know working on this cup part a I'm going to be working on this cup part so yeah cut out the cup part and next you see what i'm going to be doing with it So this is the cup part which I have cut out. I'm now going to cut out this upper part here. Okay. So I'm going to cut out this upper part of the cup here. Then I'm going to be separating the other two. The other two tiny pieces of this cup. I'm going to be separating them. So now I'm going to bring another pattern paper and place these tiny pieces on top of it and I'm going to be placing my paper stay on it. Like I said, this is what I've done, exactly what I said. Now I place this on another pattern paper and I masked it up with a masking tape to place to help keep it down because I'm going to be working on it. So for this cup here, for each of these pieces, these two tiny pieces here, you have to take the measurement, the part you're going to be joining, stitching, you know, the part where you're going to be joining to the other parts. All right. So now take the measurement and get the midpoint of 
that part where I just measured, get the midpoint. Okay, now do the same thing for this other part. Please note that you're only going to be doing to the part you're going to be joining together. Hope you understand. Then get the midpoint of that measurement after you've measured get the midpoint so from that center part there i'm trying to confirm the measurement if what i marked was actually correct so now after that now from that 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 part i marked come out by 0 0.25 on both sides okay on this one and the other second cup come out by 0 0.25 all right so yeah then from there you're going to use your cuff rule to connect it back to the down part only on the down part then you're simply going to smoothen the line all the way to the top part hope you understand so connect it like this to the down part with that you have a very beautiful cup at the end of the day so the reason i'm going this extra length to alter this cup part is so that the cup don't come out flat once i'm done stitching this okay so yeah you really need to do this i would really advise you do this okay so yeah that's how it is now after this i'm going to go ahead now to cut this out so while you're cutting it you don't need to add any allowance to the new pattern we are going to be cutting it same way as same thing as the old pattern the only difference is that we came out here on the new pattern by 0 0.25 inch okay so yeah other parts you're going to cut the same thing don't add any extra allowance on the other part of this cup so yeah even the top part here you don't need to add any extra allowance to that now after that go ahead to label your patterns your pan your panels okay so label the top part the down parts label the center front the side front hope you understand so label it in such a way that you're going to understand your cup you don't want to mix it up because once you mix it up you're going to be confused about it so i'm going to now place this masking tape here back to the side which i'm going to be stitching okay so the side which i'm going to be stitching together right i'm placing the masking tape there then i'm going to place the other tiny piece on top of it like going to place it not like on top of it place it together like so okay because i'm going to be putting it back to on the main bodies of this of the pattern which i crafted earlier okay so yeah this is how you're going to be doing your own take your time to do this do not overlap any pattern place it side by side close to each other and while at it please make sure you don't tear your pattern paper okay so this is what this looks like careful about it careful with it while you're doing it all right Now I'm going to bring this to the front part, the right side. All right, then this is what this looks like. Ensure you place your your panels well. This tiny cup, tiny pieces here. Ensure you place it well. Then you're going to place it to this top part. That is why it is important for you to label your cup so that you know where to where to place it. Okay, label your cup. All right. Now place your your masking tape on this other on that other piece here so that you can put it back to this other cup here okay so same way i did for these tiny pieces here of the cup do the same thing for this one here so this one is not that hard for you to it's not that hard to craft it's it's just easy to craft this particular one i'm doing here so this is what i have here go ahead to cut out any excess you have now this is what i have here for this cup here as you can see so this is why crafting is good so that you see what you have now i've seen that this top part is looking a bit flat so i'm going to be making it that 
the, there okay i'm going to be dating that part but first i'm going to have to put this back on back to this this one here okay i'm going to craft it back here so that i can dart this top part of the cup okay so to dart this you're going to also start placing you're going to place your paper tape this time you're going to place it on this other part okay this other panel here of the bodies place your pattern paper all right you need a lot of pattern paper to work with this so yeah now place your pattern paper all the way to this other part here where you have your the center front then from there bring the cup and start placing them start from the sides to place this cup You've seen how I'm placing this cup very close, very close together. Okay, don't overlap your your cup, or don't overlap any of your panels. If you overlap, you're going to be, you know, subtracting from your measurements. Hope you understand. So yeah, place it in such a way that it it stays, it aligns with other parts. Okay. When you're doing this you really need to be very careful about it don't be in a haste to do this take your time and do this so that you you have a neat finish at the end of the day even if you're not stitching this even if you're using your hand to craft this you still you need to have a neat finish i'm very particular about neat finishing so yeah this is what the inside looks like as you can see so Continue placing your pattern, your your masking tape to ensure that everything is in place. Okay, so as you can see, I am really focusing on the underbust area because that's the part you really want to you want it to align properly. So ensure you don't have any space around the underbust and ensure you don't have your cup pads on top of these other panels. On the underboss hope you understand then after that I went ahead to also place my masking tape all around the scope parts where I am going to be joining to the down parts or to the main bodies hope you understand Now, once you finish crafting, if you have any excess on the upper part, go ahead to trim it out and make sure that everything is in place. Everything is well crafted, okay? So now, I'm going to have to work on this top part. Like I said earlier, I noticed this top part was rather too flat. Now, create a line from this the way you have your joining of the cup parts all the way to the top now on the side here on the side come out go out by half inch okay and on the center do the same thing right then if you if you're a plus size you can do 0 0.75 on both sides connect it back like this this time around place your ruler because you want to have a straight line connect it back to this part where you, you just you've just the way you've seen me do then close your dart from the side okay close your dart from the side of the cup then afterwards you're going to use your paper tape also to to close your dart okay you close it permanently so this is going to be permanently closed hope you understand So if you check very well, you're, you're going to notice how this has really cupped. It's not looking flat again on the upper part. So that is what you should do. This is to avoid caping on, on your cup, okay? So 
so this is how it is this is what it looks like now i'm going to cut out this tiny excess i have on the side of the cup now after i'm i've done that i'm going to simply you know make sure that everything is is well crafted then from this this part where i i marked came down by one inch for my three piece cup simply going to define that line again okay simply going to define that line again so so it's basically the same thing so that's just it it's basically the same thing define the line since you're still going to cut this out so define it so that it will serve as a guide for you when you're cutting this out Now do the same thing on the under busts. Also define the under bust line. You know, after masking the under bust area, you you cannot even see the line there, the initial lines we had. So define it also. So now for this one, follow the shape of your cup. Once you craft it and place your cup, it will be very easy for you to follow the shape of your cup to, to create your cup. Hope you understand. Yeah. So that's how it is. That's how you're going to do it. It is not hard. It is very easy for you to do this. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to measure this from the center part all the way to the back part. And if what you've if what you've drafted and crafted is too small for you that is if you've really snatched this this is the time for you to make an adjustment on the side okay only on the side back then you can go ahead to add your your allowance on the side back okay so if you feel you've snatched this too much then go ahead to Add to the side back only on the side back not the front part now next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to start cutting this out so guys basically this is it for the drafting and the crafting of of this this pattern here as you can see once you get this pattern right then you're going to get the sewing right so the main thing there is the cutting part once you get the cutting part right, trust me, you're going to get the sewing part right as well. So I'm going ahead to cut out all the panels. And please, I'm saying it again, please label your panels. You don't want to mix it up because actually they look alike. These panels you're seeing here look alike. The fronts look like the back part. Okay, so label each of them and... In my next video, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm going to be stitching this. I'm going to cut this on my main fabric. So thank you and see you in my next one.